Hello, I'm this Tech and Fusion. Welcome back to another review on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tales of the Tim and T Volume 2, Issue Number 3 The Worms of Madness Part 1. And oh boy, this one is one which I just don't even know where to begin with this one because this one is the issue that brings in Shark Shredder. And there's also a very problematic scene with Leonardo saying a certain word to Mikey which I'll not be showing on the screen and I'll not be saying what it is because I do believe it is quite harmful to some people and uh, god I don't even know where to begin with this one just because of those scenes alone but this issue is a uh, oh, it's a weird one like it's one which you don't believe that exists but when you actually read it, it's like yeah okay this is something that actually happened because it's turtles so uh, let's just get into this one. Okay, so this issue, this one has taken place in the Mirage universe after the events of the Return to New York stuff. Basically, after the Toes killed Shredder, um, because he came back to life with worms and stuff like that. That's probably like another story, or like video on, on its own. But either way, Shredder came back to life um, through worms, through the Foot Clan and stuff like that. And the Toes came in and killed him. And that's when the Turtles took him down to the river and then sent his body out onto the lake and then burnt it. And that's when we do get to see a foot mystic, he's there. And basically he uses the worm to bring back the shredder, but in a different form. And the way that he does this is basically one of the worms is attached to Leonardo's body, I think it is. Or no, I think it's his sword. And when Leonardo returns home, he basically finds out about the worm and he flushes down to the sink. And the worm goes into the sewers, and then somehow it reaches a shark. The shark eats it, and becomes the new Shredder. Hopefully that does make some sense. It's very confusing, and something which should not really be... Like, uh, I, I, I don't know how to really explain this. It's just something that like, when you say it out loud, it just sounds so crazy. But it happened, I guess. <laughs> So after that, we do get to see a few weeks has gone by, and Tails must be been going through the sewers, and we do get to see Leo and Mikey arguing about stuff, and Mikey saying oh, Leonardo's a bit too serious, and Mikey's a bit too like goofy and stuff like that. So then Mustpinter just comes in and just beats them up, and then goes, "Oh yeah, is this like too serious for you guys?" So I find that to be a little bit weird. But then all of a sudden, Mikey finds the shark. The shark comes alive and starts to beat everyone up. And, you know, it sounds a bit stupid, but it's normal for the context of the comic. And we do get to see a very problematic scene of Leonardo saying a certain word to Mikey. Again, I'll not be showing it on screen for obvious reasons, because I think it will be harmful to quite a few people. So, after that, we do get to see the Shredder worm, or the Shredder, like, shark thing. It separates his body, revealing all the worms. And I've been told quite surprised by this. And then the, the worms somehow get Master into and then puts it inside the shark's body and then it leaves. And that's pretty much where we do leave off for this issue. Hopefully that is all making a lot of sense. Um, I just don't even know where to begin with this one. It's just, <laughs> it sounds so stupid and crazy and stuff which if you say it out loud you sound so crazy and stupid. But when you look at it it's just like, what is going on, but the more I think about it, it's just like, yeah, okay, that's tells enough, so, it's just, oh, God, I don't know where to begin with this story. <laughs> and then also for this issue, it has some pretty interesting artwork, so for the first page, where we do get the classic turtles saying, oh yeah, let me tell you about a story, it's a different artist, which I do think looks quite cool, I want to say, and I would like to see this artist come back and do something for the turtles, and we do have the main artist for this issue, which I do think is pretty great. And like I've been saying before, in all the other issues, basically the same problem has come up again. Basically, it's in black and white, so it's all detail that's missing and stuff like that. Also, it does get a little bit confusing with like location switching and stuff like that. But it does a pretty decent job with the all the ink and shadows, where it does look like very unique and different compared to other comics, where it's not like the typical show type thing, if that makes sense. And it does somewhat look a little bit more, I don't want to say realistic, but like it just looks like cool and weird with the shadow and some of that where 
It's like a few different layers of shadowing, which don't get me wrong, it's really great and all that, but it looks so weird without all like, the colour and stuff, but it's still great nonetheless, but it just seems a little bit weird and uh, I, I wish I could enjoy it. Now, the overall story is one which I just don't even know where to begin. Like I said before, that this whole thing just sounds so stupid and crazy. The more you talk about it with, you know, you've got Shark Shredder comes back to life because the original Shredder was uh, killed and then came back to life by worms and then was decapitated and then got turned into a shark. It sounds so stupid and crazy, but with the context of it just being turtles, it somewhat makes sense, but it shouldn't. It just sounds so stupid and crazy and just... Why does this even exist? And I just don't know where to even begin with this issue because, yeah, I mean, it works great for like the Tales or Tim and T stuff because, you know, it's just a one off adventure. Or uh, well, still a one off, but still, either way, it just seems so weird that this is still part of the same universe where the Turtles in the very first issue were killing uh, people, just random people. Um, like, it just seems so weird and crazy and just, like, really out there just because of what it is. And, again, I just don't know what to really say about it. And the more that I try to really think about it and be like, yeah, okay, that exists. It's just, oh my god, where do I even begin with this issue? I just... <laughs> Uh, I mean, I know that Tolls have had some really unique and weird adventures over the years, and, like, in terms of like, all different versions of Turtles, some more weirder than others, but I think this one's got to be definitely one of the weirder ones, and I do think for like people who don't know too much about Turtles will be extremely confused and be like, oh my god, what's happening? So, yeah, I wish I could say a lot more than that, but I don't know where to... I just feel like I'm just going to keep repeating myself. So yeah, that's all I've got to say about the actual story itself. It's just crazy and weird and stupid. And, um, you know, I even sound stupid and saying myself while I was talking about this. <laughs> we also for some trivia bit, this issue did appear in the Total Throne movie in the multiversal scene. And we do get to see that this is part of a separate universe. And I don't know what to really make of that because on one hand, I would like this to be in its own separate universe. But at the same time, I know that this is supposed to be part of the Mirage continuity and stuff like that. So it just seems really weird and uh, crazy, I want to say. Just it still being part of this universe or it not. But I mean, I do find that this whole issue will be more believable as like its own separate timeline from the, con uh, from, like, the Mirage universe. That is somewhat sad, but it is somewhat more believable that it's in its own universe. But if it is technically canon to the like, Mirage universe and stuff like that, then oh boy, and I think that this may have ruined it because oh boy, I want to love it, but at the same time, if I keep doing stuff like this, then I do think that Tales of Tim and T stuff is going to be a really interesting read for the future issues, but also at the same time, I just don't know what to really say about it because. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I, uh. But, um, yeah, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this issue. Uh, do you find it crazy and stupid and insane that we got a Shredder Shark or anything like that? But, uh, yeah. Uh, that's game for today, guys. If you have please share lots of grabbing all stuff. Goodbye, yo. Bye. Uh.